Hey guys, this is George from Fermented Kitchen and this is our sourdough baguette recipe. There are two ways to shape it. One is this one that you're seeing right here. So kind of uh, long, thin and crispy. Or you can create a baguette and ciabatta hybrid that you are seeing right now. As you can see, this has got, it's quite um, puffy and um, kind of reminiscent of what you'd expect in a ciabatta, but in the shape of a large baguette. Either way, this is a uh, one, one of our favorite recipes, uh, so let's get right into it. You'll need 325 grams of plain white flour, 175 grams of bread flour, 10 grams of salt, 100 grams of active starter, and 360 grams of water. We will do three sets of stretch and fold. Wet your hands so the dough doesn't stick to you. Four and a half hours, it has risen maybe about 50%. There's clear signs of fermentation, lots of bubbles, so let's go ahead. We're going to split this dough in four pieces to make four baguettes. The total weight of the dough is 970 grams, so we need to split it uh, by four pieces of 242 grams each. You can do it by eye or you can use the scales. Next, we're going to roll them up into logs. And put them on a floured surface. Burst any bubbles as well. We're now going to rest it for a few minutes as we prepare the proving cloth. Place your proving cloth on a baking sheet or a cutting board and use combination of rice flour and bread flour and dust it generously. We are using some sort of a tray because at the 
at the end of the, the proof, we're going to put this in a fridge for about half an hour. So that's why it just makes it easier to transport. To shape your baguettes, gently flour the surface with normal bread flour and with the smooth side facing down like that we're going to first fold in the top and bottom into itself so you can start from the sides and then from top and bottom And then we're going to grab the dough from the top and pull it all the way over and tie it here at the bottom like so. Push it down. Then flip it over onto the seam. Make sure the dough is Distribute it nicely, shake it out, and then going to move it over to our dust, dusted cloth. I'm going to use this cutting board and place it here just to make sure that it keeps the shape and doesn't run away. Cover it with lightly oiled cling film and a kitchen towel. We'll prove it for at least two and a half hours, maybe three hours, after which we'll put it in the fridge for 30 minutes as we preheat the oven. It's been almost three hours, as you can see, it's nice and puffy. We're now going to put these in a fridge while we preheat the oven. The baguette doughs are going to be in a fridge for 30 minutes while we heat up the oven at max. We chill the dough so it maintains its shape and it also will give us a much better oven spring. I also highly recommend using a baking steel like this one. It's like a six kilo stainless steel that's been seasoned. So this will get really hot when it's inside the oven, when it's preheated. And it will make sure that you get a really nice oven spring. And it also will make sure that the bottom of baguettes is nice and crispy. You can just use a normal oven tray, but you may find that the bottom is a bit soggy and you might need to flip them around at the end and bake them uh, for a few more minutes. But highly, highly recommend using a baking steel or a baking stone. Right, 30 minutes is almost up. Now we're gonna have to transfer the baguettes onto something uh, which we can use to slide off the baguettes onto the baking steel. So I've cut out two baking sheets and I'm going to put it on uh, something like a cutting board, a flat surface. Now I'm gonna use another small cutting board to transfer baguettes onto the baking paper. I'm going to use the rice flour and bread flour mix, but you can just use normal flour. And I'll also try to dust off as much excess flour at the bottom of these baguettes as possible. Let's do it.
We're now going to use the lam to score the baguettes. Just three diagonal lines per baguette. So I've got a tray full of boiling hot water that we've got at the bottom. Now I'm going to try to uh, slide these onto the baking steel. With a sprayer spray some water in there on top of the baguettes keep it on maximum that's 250 C for 10 minutes 